Hello, this is how to make a zipper wall. So what you need is a base and strips of paper. A strip can be folded easily when you hold it down on the table and curl the middle up to meet itself on the edge. I always hold it down before I push it out to the sides. Now sometimes this isn't perfect, but that's okay. It's still really folded in half. The next step is to take a pair of scissors and set it right into the place where it is cutting, but only to the fold. And you're gonna cut something close to square sizes, like teeth or bricks. Something that's like a square and try to cut it evenly down the side, and it's only one side that got cut, because the other side is going to be your wall, whereas the squares are going to be your feet. You could glue it down like this, but it can look even cooler if you alternate the way that the feet are going. So I just folded every other foot out the other way, and I set it down and decide where it's going to go. I will be gluing underneath. Not every foot needs glue, but definitely most of them. Glue, glue, glue. And notice I'm holding it upside down to kind of have easier access to the feet. I'm getting a good amount of glue on them. And then I can curl this wall into any position I want as long as I hold down the feet and let it dry. One trick is to be sure that you cut all the way into the fold. If you don't cut enough, then the feet won't fold all the way out. Here I am folding my strip in half and beginning my cuts. But you can see if I don't cut far enough, then the feet are going to have a hard time folding into position. So I'm going to be sure and cut all the way into the fold. And once you get good at it, you become faster. Some students even pile two strips on top of each other so they can make two at a time. And as long as I make a path with my two walls, then my marble will be able to roll right on through.